Welcome to another video by Lane Creations Log Analysis Made Easy. This is the second video for Sysmon. I showed how to install Sysmon on my previous video, and now I'm going to show how to get Sysmon ingested into Splunk. Really easy. We're going to go to Splunk Base, and we're going to just look up Sysmon. We can go Splunk add-on for Sysmon. We're just going to download it. I've already downloaded it. And if I come into Splunk, I can just install it, manage apps, install app from file, drop it in. Easy enough. But once you've done that, what you want to do is just, this is my deployment server. That's where I want to deploy it because it's going to be out on my universal forwarders. And so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go into my the back end of my Splunk instance, and I'm going to go cd slash ops, ops Splunk Etsy apps. There's my app Sysmon, and I will I would copy it over cp minus r. Where is that? Yep, Splunk ta Microsoft Sysmon to dot dot slash deployment apps. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. But that's what I'd run. I'm going to go back to deployment apps. And there it is, Microsoft Sysmon. We're ready to go. The deployment server has it. It can be pushed out. Now we need to jump on to the Splunk instance and get that running. All right, so we're going to get Splunk installed. I'm just going to go to Splunk, download it. We'll download for Windows 10. That's not what I want to do. I do not want to download the 32-bit. 64-bit. Go ahead and run it. Close Event Viewer. Open the file. You're going to run as an on-prem. I agree to the license. Do not like the idea of it generating a random password. Here's where I go to the deployment server. So I'm going to put my deployment server in there, 8089. Hit next. We'll have the logs be sent there as well, 192.168. So that sets it up to set forward the logs. Install. Yes, I'm good with that. Let it run. Pause the video and come back when it's ready. Okay, I'm finished. So now I should be able to come over here and just jump on that machine. Mm 
Come over to settings, we go to forwarder management. And now we just have to be patient for this machine to call home. All right, it is back. We're going to come into server classes. We're going to find our sysmon. Let's just go find this app for Sysmon here. If we look at that, we can see the Microsoft Sysmon app. We can already see that it's assigned. Just wish I'd paid attention to which server class I put it in. It's going to be under my Windows UF. There it is. So I, I assigned it a server class, Splunk TA Microsoft Sysmon. It's also setting up TA Windows in the Universal Forwarder settings. And I assigned these. Basically, the way this is working is I tagged everything with a Windows 64 architecture to get it. That makes it really simple. So I didn't have to do anything. It's already set to run. Now, there is going to be one little problem. Notice this Microsoft Sysmon. It does not have restart next to it. Edit. We should have had that on. And because Splunk D is not set to restart, that's OK. I wanted this for this purpose. It's actually not going to start it over here. So I'll have the app. So if I go in. There's the sysmon, but I won't be sending the logs over because Splunk needs to restart. So I'm going to go in. So I restart Splunk. It's probably going to tell me I can't because I'm oh I'm an administrator. I'm fine. Splunk will restart. And when Splunk restarts, Sysmon logs will start flowing in. The beauty is this TA needs no modifications whatsoever. There are some modifications we can make, and I'll show what those are. Because I want to be able to have this all running. So the Sysmon sends CD app uh, Etsy. If I go Splunk TA, okay, if I go in. I go notepad inputs.conf. We can see that by default, there is no index being put in there. So it's going to send my stuff most likely to the my default indexer, which will be index, which will be main. But this is the source I'm looking for. So just remember that we're not using a WC, so we're actually using this one here. We'll be looking for that source. So now that we can see that we've got the Windows logs coming through, they got the uh, syslog, we've got them all hooked up, machines are porting in, we are good to go with our sysmon logs. I hope this was helpful. I hope this takes, helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk ninja. If this video was helpful, like, subscribe. Um, if you want to help me support this channel, I'd love it if you joined. I give special benefits to all my, uh, my members. We've got special trainings and videos that are not available to the public uh, as kind of a help for uh, your support to help this channel grow. Anyway, thanks so much. Hope you keep coming back.